Okay, I've had uh, four or five big experiences. Once I was driving by this, I was with another guy, and we were driving along, and all of a sudden, out of the side of the, on my side of the car, I could see mushrooms going along. And they were, they were only like an inch high, but you get, you get so big. So we picked, we picked 500 mushrooms in that field. And it was a little, little like a triangle between two roads, and uh, they were just popped up everywhere. And then one other time, I was going along, and uh, I just sit in my car and I drive along slow, and if I, I can usually spot them. So uh, I spotted a couple on the side of this side of this road, and there was a, a kind of a little bit of a hill below it. And I got out of the car and I looked, and as far as I could see. There were mush, black mushrooms. You know, there's uh, there's seven or eight kinds of mushroom of morels. There's two kinds that are black. There's one they call as thick-footed, which is it's kind of uh, wide, uh, more rectangular, and then there's one they call angusticeps, which is just a straight black. But sometimes I I picked one the size of a Grape, the half a half a grapefruit, but but they're they're usually not very tall, and then uh, after that the brown ones come, and the brown ones are uh, of three or four different shapes, and one of them at the end they uh, they're kind of like a pine tree, tall and thin, but they they're real crumbly, so that's the end of the uh, the end of the browns, and then after that the white ones come. Uh, and then, and they can be, uh, they can, they use the other ones, uh, the black ones and the, and the brown ones, when they come up, that's the size they're going to be. And sometimes they're small, sometimes they're a pretty good size, but they don't really grow. They just pop up and that's what they are. They come up, they're laying in there like sideways and then they kind of, they come up. <coughs> then, uh, but the white ones, they grow. There's some people that find them that are a foot high. So if you wait, now I used to, what I used to do is I, I'd find some mushrooms and I'd leave the little ones and I'd put a twig in the ground with a little piece of birch bark on it. So then when I come back like a week later to see if it had grown, they, they all stayed the same size. But the white ones grow. They are, uh, anyway. And there's one that's, that's in the books that I've never seen. It's a, it's uh, kind of round, like a half circle, and it's blue. It's blue. It's a blue color, but I've never seen one like that. And I think it grows on the side of trees. And then there's one that's, that's called a half-free morel. Uh, and uh, they're not as good eating, and uh, some people get sick from them. And uh, they're called verpa bohemica. And those, those are son of a bitch mushrooms. You see them and they look good and you run over there and it's a burpa. <laughs> so I don't, I don't keep those. I don't fool with those. I'm what does a burka, burpa mean? Pardon? What does a burpa mean? I don't know. I know bohemica means from bo bohemia. And uh, I, I don't know what burpa means, but that's, it's, that's the Latin word for it. I said, son of a bitch, there's another burpa. And sometimes and they come out the same time that the other mushrooms come out, so you sometimes you're you're trapped. And one time I found I was walking through the woods and there was a big chunk of, of limestone, and it was up and it was uh, like stuck. It was it was like something pushed it up. It was like maybe eight or nine feet high by four or five feet high, four or five feet across, and it was all full of moss. And all through the moss were these black mushrooms, and I never found them. I never found that spot again. I couldn't. I was way back in the middle of the woods, and I, I never could find it again. And my, and my best spot that I had was always good for five or six hundred mushrooms. They uh, decided the 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 limestone and the sand where the, the stuff was growing. Uh, they made a gravel pit out of it, and they they uh, paved or all the way from 
the 359 mile marker where I get off, where my cabin is, all the way up to the Sioux, which is about 40 miles on both sides of the road. They widened the road uh, 75, and, and that was all my mushroom country. And so now it's just a big hole. That's, that's the story of the mushrooms. Just turn them around so you can see them. Sudden. And when you what do you say about how the mushroom hunters you got to watch out for each other and hide your cars and stuff oh yeah yeah <laughs> you find a good spot if you find a good spot a trout spot a wild uh, blueberry spot or wild raspberry spot and uh, you don't and, and you start picking there and cars go by and they see your car there the next year you never, somebody will beat you to it. So what you have to do, if you find, have a good spot, you got to go, you got to go hide your car somewhere or, or, or put it a, a half a mile away and then sneak back and, and, and get it because, because there are a, you a lot of spots, your car? a lot of spots along the road. So how do you find your car? <laughs> what? How do you find your car? Well, well, it's on the road, but I'll put it up. And a lot of times, if, if people will go along and they will see, these roads are all, you know, sand roads and they got a lot of clay in them. But you can see if a guy stopped there. If you, you know, pull in and then you walk around when well, you've got footprints there and so on, people say, oh, I wonder why someone stopped here. Probably a good mushroom spot. And if they, they, they just keep that in mind and next year they'll say, well, I'm going to try that spot. And and then they'll clean it out. Well, go. How do you keep track of where you've looked when you're going mushroom hunting? Because you have to walk a long ways, don't you? Yeah, sometimes. And then if you're in the deep woods and you find a mushroom is uh, created by what the plant grows. It has little tiny hairs that are called mycelium. And the mycelium grow all over the place. So the average mushroom that comes out is probably a part of a plant that may be 10 feet by 10 feet across and all these little hairs and they suck up they suck the, up stuff out of the dead leaves and that kind of stuff the forest mast is what they call it and then uh, they pop up a little mushroom there and and so that plant <clears throat> that plant will be there unless some some drastic change Someone comes and chops a bunch of trees down and it, and, uh, it gets hot all summer and, then, uh, and kills those little hairs, then, uh, then it's gone. But otherwise, every year, you're liable to find uh, that plant will pr produce mushrooms, but, but sometimes people beat, beat you to it. How do you find uh, your way back to your car when you're going way out in the woods? Well, what I do is I, I usually know where I'm going, but the, what I do is I have a basket with all kinds of ribbon on it and a, and a cane with all kinds of ribbons on it. And when I find a spot, I'll put the cane down and then I'll walk because that, that mushroom plant may be 30, 40, 50 feet long or, or you and sometimes you go along you see another one and you keep walking and you keep walking and so you turn around and if you set then I set the basket down and then I'll walk like maybe 20 feet the other side and then walk back to the cane and uh, if if you set your basket down and you don't have any flags and stuff on it then you, you may have it full of mushrooms but you can't find it so so you have little flags on it. You can you can see it from like a hundred feet or two hundred feet. You can see oh there it is. But on the on the other hand, you you could, you could set your basket down and take two hours to try and find the damn thing. <laughs> and some mushroom plants, they they found one. This wasn't a morel mushroom, but they found one in uh, around Rudyard that was like forty acres. The plant was like forty acres. 
and then they found another one up, up on the other end of the state by Wisconsin that was a square mile, one plant. But they, they could take the mycelium and, and run the DNA on it and say, this is the same plant, although it's a half a mile away. Wow. Okay. Poplar, yeah, poplar. There's two kinds of pop, but they like limestone, and uh, I always find them by limestone. Sometimes they're growing right out in the road, where there's a lot of limestone, and uh, you can just pick them right off of the road. A lot of fun. Turn them around so you can see them. 